Hello! Um, as you might have seen in some of my latest photo updates, I'm actually updating the videos right now, I got my hair done. Uh, it's a lot blonder on top and then I decided to go a little bit crazy with the hair on the bottom. I got blue and purple and there was supposed to be pink in it. It's, I love it. It's, um, called Galaxy Hair. Uh, so, yeah, there was supposed to be some, like, lighter blue streaks in there. The purple doesn't show up very well right now, just because of the lighting. And the pink, well, yeah, the, the blue and the purple got mixed up in the pink, and so you can't see pink. Um, it dyed the blonde, uh, bottom end of my hair a little bit, a little bit blue. Um, so next time that I go in, which will be in December, I am going to have some of the, <clears throat> I'm going to have, um, some of the blue bleached so that it turns into a lighter blue. And then I'm going to have pink put in, and depending on how much it lightens up, I might do some purple, some more purple in there, if it, if it doesn't start showing. <laughs> I've washed my hair a total of like three times, maybe, and I got my hair done two weeks ago. I know that sounds really gross, but honestly, you're not supposed to wash your hair that much, so I... Um, use dry shampoo in between hair washings, um, and it's also a horrible pain in the butt to wash, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's awful. This is high maintenance hair. Um, I have to, when I wash it, I have to separate all the blonde from the bottom colors, which that in itself is kind of hard to do because I can't see in the back. Um, so I had, I actually had James help me separate my hair like the first time I washed it. <laughs> and then you have to uh, wash it in really cold water, pretty much the coldest that you can stand. Um, I've been using my uh, shower attachment um, to wash my hair. I'll just kind of like perch on the side of the tub and and wash it with that. Um, and it's pretty funny to wash, watch all the blue just like dripping down off of me. Um, and then when I wash it with shampoo, the uh, suds, the uh, suds from the shampoo turns really bright blue too. So that's kind of interesting. Um, it does stain my tub a little bit. So I try to wash it out after I wash my hair. Um, so yeah, I wash it separately, I have to dry it separately, um, and I have to blow dry it and blow dry it separately, uh, which is kind of a pain in the butt because I almost never would blow dry my hair, I'd always let it air dry. Um, can't do that now. It's pretty, I love it, the color is like insanely vibrant, uh, just because of the the uh, type of dye that she used. Look, I'm just like placing it over me. Oh, it's like I have a scarf. Half scarf. Um, <laughs> it's a scarf of hair. Um, oh, I should show you the pictures that my my hairstylist took of me. So I went back in the next day. We took some pictures after um, she did it. Uh, but we did it in artificial light and studio lights, so we didn't get as good of lighting as we would have outside, so we did shoot it outside. So here's the, uh, here's that one. It's funny, there's like this spot up here where you can see the purple pretty well. And then side view where you can't see the blue or the purple at all. And another one with my hair braided. I love that look because the blue is like braided in with the blonde. And then, oh, I joked around with her and I said that I look like Rarity from My Little Pony, <laughs> which I totally think I do. 
Okay, so the next day um, after I got my hair done, she asked me to come in so that we could take some pictures in the sunlight and the natural light. So she um, did a free hair styling for me. She curled my hair. That's what it looks like. Super pretty. There's another one. She put this beautiful little headband thingy on me. <clears throat> and then there you can see more of the colors. More of the different colors. So, yeah, I I love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, next time it'll look less My Little Pony and more galaxy alike. Um, it's been interesting because, well, apparently I do wear my hair on this side of my neck because my neck is. Um, not so much anymore, maybe still a little bit, but it, uh, the dye has been rubbing off on my neck and my back, so I had to buy these, uh, hair dye remover wipes, which have ammonia in it, and I didn't realize that, and they don't give very good directions on how to use the wipes, so I didn't, um, I would, like, wipe the hair dye off, but I'd kind of scrub at it a little bit, and I wouldn't like wash um, wash the stuff that was on the wipe off. So it caused me to get a little rash on the side, which is finally going away. You might be able to see, oh my god, yeah, you could probably see that right there. It's all right there. Oh, and then yeah, you can see the blue a little tiny bit. Um, it's not too, too bad. Uh, I can't wear light colored clothes for some time um, it dyes it's dyed my fingernails um, I had prior to me taking the gel off I had this um, light like brown beige type color um, it would dye that like the tips of them which you can actually see in the latest photo sets in some of them, like my nails look so filthy, but they're really not. All it is is just from, from well, from the skirt that I was wearing, one of the black skirts I wore, and then um, from my hair as well, because I fiddle with it a lot. Uh, and then I had to switch my pillowcase. Um, the pillowcase that I was using is light purple and I didn't want that dyed, so, so I switched it with a dark red pillowcase that I had, and I actually bought some black satiny ones, so, which is supposed to be better for your, I just stopped that, it's supposed to be better for your skin, it's supposed to, like, help not cause wrinkles, I don't know, that's what I've heard, that's what I've read, so, we'll see, um, but, yeah, so, you guys will have to tell me if you like it or not. I like it though. So it's something different. And I needed, I was kind of bored. So, so apparently when I'm bored, I, I make changes to myself. <laughs> Anywho, alright, bye.